Dynamic images in Power BI using the Google Drive. A lot of people, a lot of practitioners really like the player photo in the report. The players like it, the coaches like it. It's such a handy feature, but let's see how we can dynamically modify it and having that linked to Google Drive. We're gonna use a, a very realistic example. We're gonna have a look at a fitness testing report. A lot of the performance for the athlete is being displayed, the trend, everything that the player has done historically. We got it all in here with the targets, with the, the ability to modify the comparison between generations, positions, teams, etc. What we are going to do is to make sure that once we modify the player name, it's not only this being modified, but we also have a modified picture. In order to get started, we need to come to Google Drive. In Google Drive, we need to do some modifications. And I've added, just for simplicity, two sample photos that I would like to use. Right-click, share, and share. And from here, you just need to do one thing. Change this one from restricted. Normally, this is set as restricted and put anyone with the link. Once you've done that, you need to copy the link and bring it into another sheet. I've just put it here in a note notebook just to show you because you need to do some modifications. The two links that I've created are these two. They are just taken now from Google Drive, just the ones I show you. And we need to modify this one slightly. We need to put this one in the beginning. We need to find the photo ID, and then we put this at the very end. So essentially you can save this little string here and you can use it for the future. So, and then you just need to add the ID in between here. Where do you find the ID? Well, it's in between the forward slash here and the forward slash just before the view. You can see it again here, forward slash, and just again there before the view. That I've pasted in here, you can recognize it here, after the thumbnail equals all the way to the end sign. Once you have that whole new piece of string, copy it and bring it into Power BI. And in Power BI, we're just gonna create a simple table with the name and the URL that Power BI needs to go and grab that info from. We hit enter new data. Let's call this player name. Let's just bring up the names that we would like. If we just quickly do like this, so we can see the names that we would like, because obviously they need to be correct. We hit name, and we write Andrew Moore, write Anthony Mitchell, and if we now just add URL, and we can simply just paste in the URL there, we hit OK, and you can see that that's fine. You go and grab the other one, you do the same again, we can just delete this one, we don't need. And obviously you need to just add the rest of your athletes. I'm not gonna show you, you can do that in your own time. If we now just call this table, image table, and we hit load, that will spin for a couple of seconds, being added to the model. And if we move our focus to the right hand side here, we can see that image table being loaded in. We can come in here, we can see the image table, you can modify this one to a website URL. And if you come back in here now, let's have a look if this is working. If we hide this filter now, we come to our report, we just need to add a simple image into our report. Modify it in here. This is where we would like it. We need to make sure that that is just slightly further behind. So if you just drag it a little bit further down, so now when we add the filter, it's at the front, perfect. Now let's try to add our website URL. Let that load a little bit and we can see we have a player. Very good, great start. If we now try to 
modify the name. However, that is not being changed. And the problem is that we is not linked to the data model. Because if we try to just filter here, if you pull in the name, try to modify, we select Andrew, okay, that was Andrew, and Anthony, that is Anthony. So he is coming in there. Okay, so that is working to some extent. We just need to now make sure that he's being filtered once we edit the other player name that we're using in the report. Let's have a look which column we're taking this from. Let's see, we can select this filter, player name, player info table. Let's go to our data model, player info table. We can scroll in a little bit and we can simply just drag the name onto the player name. We see straight away identified a relationship. We need to make sure this is in both directions so we can filter in both ways. We hit save, we come back to the report, and now when we select Anthony, then Anthony is showing in the report. You can see how that is working perfectly fine. We now have a dynamic image in our fitness testing report that is being changed depending on the name that we already have from our other tables. And go to Google Drive and get that image. What you can do, of course, is to modify the picture a little bit there is a couple of settings in terms of scaling and make it fit into the photo, etc. Play around with those yourself and I hope you found this video useful. If you found it useful, thumbs up, hit the like button, hit the subscribe. If you like and you subscribe, we know that you like the content and if you like it, we'll create more. See you later.